So, Bill, could you talk to us a little bit about the importance for students getting involved in research? I think first and foremost, um, if someone's thinking about continuing on with, with graduate school, research is a great way to you know, get some really good experience, build a CV, and that, that really says you know, to, to grad programs that they might be applying to, you know, hey look, I'm, I'm for real. Um, <clears throat> I think um, you know, kind of going off of that, it's a great way to really develop a specialized knowledge set and kind of start getting the experience they need to, to carve out you know, their, their track as a future professional in a very specialized niche in the field. Can you maybe tell me a little about uh, why is it important for students to get involved in research? Well, I think when they're students, I think that's the very best time to actually begin. Uh, if people begin later in life and they stream towards practice prematurely, they may miss out on a propensity or a strength to do research. And I find that sometimes when you're dealing with graduate students, they opt towards the applied route and they forget to garner the research experiences. And as a result of that, they don't realize their full potential as scholars. You know, We're out there in the job force and job opportunities are out there in the applied sector, but they're also out there in the universities in Canada and the States, internationally, in England, their positions are plentiful. Mm -hmm. And I think that to have those sorts of skills of doing research and practice with one informing the other is critical. How important do you see that connection working with faculty to help you with your research? Ah, uh, um, I, I think the, the connection makes a big difference, um, you know, because research is not easy. Um, it, it does take a lot of time, a lot of brainstorming, and you know, having a, a, a good connection with your faculty member you know, makes it easy to you know, open up, a, keep an open dialogue about, you know, progress that's being made and, and sharing ideas, bouncing ideas around and, you know, giving and receiving constructive feedback and, and just being open. So I think, um, you know, it's really good to, you know, find a, a faculty member or an advisor that you, that you do click well with. What advice would you give students who are interested in getting started with their research line? What advice might you give them to kind of help them along with that process? Well, I think the first thing right off the top is to be theory driven. Uh, oftentimes it's perfectly fine to be interpretive and inductive in your research, but to understand the scholarly literature in your area, for one, to understand a breadth of scholarly literature, to understand where you want to go and what really interests you, and then from there to have the underpinnings to create a proper methodology. The other thing is obviously that you've got to read about the various methodologies beyond the methods, and I find sometimes people opt towards a method without fully understanding their, that they're engaged in a methodology as well and one informs the other. The methodology informs the method with its assumptions and both have to align correctly. So as a student who's been engaged in research, what would you say are some of the mistakes that students tend to make? Uh, students, perhaps like myself, um, common mistakes would be um, trying to do too much at first. Um, one of my professors would always say, keep it simple and stupid. And, um, you know, I think from my own experience, it's been a process of kind of, you know, taking these really big ideas and channeling them down into something, okay, this is a little bit more doable. Um, and so I, I would say, you know, at least from my own experience, that's been the one big mistake. Um, and then the other one, I would just say, <clears throat> trying to, from the get-go, develop a really clear sense of where you're going and what you want to do with your research.